questions that will allow you to progress your CV, that takes us back to question one that we talked about before. All right, so most, most business schools have quite similar MBAs, but it's what's delivered. I mean, no business school has a mortgage on the intellectual property of an MBA. I mean, it's all out there. But it's how it's delivered, um, the, the process of learning that's undertaken, and, um, and the networks I think you can gather while you're doing your MBA. But uh, you might want to talk, this is a bit loose, you might want to talk from your perspective when you did your MBA at NYU. Well, um, from, I mean, I don't want to cover what's already been touched, but um, two things. One is it must be right for you. And the second thing is obviously what the school offers in relation to what you want. Different schools offer different things. And it's up to you during your research to figure out whether that is what you want. But to begin the process, you must be sure of what you want. And uh, it's not always that people uh, who are at the point of going for a business education abroad and who are in India know what they really want. So in many ways, uh, the business school application is a journey of self-discovery. So if you, you need to find out what you need and what you want, and then go we'll for that, basically. A personalized uh, list of schools that might be right for you, depending on the region, a return of investment you're looking for, specializations, funding, scholarship, etc., etc. So if you if you have five minutes, maybe you should get on there and try and find out. So that might uh, make your search a little more uh, smaller, and uh, you might be heading in a certain right direction. I hope. Um, the next question again, extremely genreic. Um, you know, what are the benefits of doing a 12-month program or an 18-month program in an MBA? And uh, I think I looked at 60 or 70 different MBAs from you know all the business schools we know to some of those we've never heard of, and they were everywhere. There are 12, 12 months, 24 months, a seven course MBA, a 38 course MBA, everything in the middle of that. So it, it really doesn't matter um, how long it is, I, except I, I would have to say that 12 months would be the minimum. It's what you do within the MBA that counts. Um, there are very good 12-month MBAs around the place, and, and I'm going to talk about a friend of mine that did an MBA at IMD, uh, one of the world's leading business schools, 12 months. So it's 12 months residential intern. So um, it's 12 months, 18 months, it's not really important, it's what's covered in the program and how the program is taught that's important. James? There is uh, quite often the case in the UK where people come and do a 12 month MBA because it, it does fit in with their career and that's the, that's the most <coughs> popular model. There are also executive MBAs which are taken part time. Um, be, be warned that it's, it's actually very difficult to get a UK student visa to come in and take the part time program. You know, I know that, that um, it's a question that we get asked, well can I take it as the exec over two years? Um, for visa purposes, the answer is probably no, and so you're looking at 12 months. Um, it's not uncommon for uh, a, an overseas student coming to the UK to extend their period of study um, at the dissertation stage, it, especially if um, there's a piece of comparative work going on or a piece of work going on in the company back home. And that's quite common, uh, and, 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 and it's usually well supported by the business school where the student's um, studying. So. Yeah, the UK model it tends to be 12 months, fairly intensive, but there is often the scope to extend that, that research aspect at the end of the programme. I uh, The school I'm associated with now offers a one-year programme, and uh, I did a two-year programme myself, so let me just give you my, uh, my experiences. Um, I've seen that... Um, a one-year program is probably appropriate if you are uh, very focused and you're committed to doing, you're, you're absolutely sure what you want to take out of the program. So a one-year pro program probably fits you like a glove. Um, the two-year program, on the other hand, if you're not really sure, you want to go into business, you want to get a professional business degree, but you want to try out many different things, 
Uh, I have a general MBA and half of my courses were in financial history. Um, I basically found out that I enjoyed learning about history when I uh, went to business school. So for me, a two-year program was perfect because I didn't know that I would enjoy learning history at that point. Uh, but I, I think it's, it's uh, if, if you're committed, if you know that that's what you want to do, a one-year program is probably well suited for you. Uh, there's another thing though, and this uh, uh, you might want to add there, is if you are changing careers, if you're in technology and you want to go into finance, uh, the two-year MBA gives you a break in between which allows you to take an internship somewhere which adds a little bit of weight to your resume for post-MBA employment, which the one-year MBA I think is a little difficult to, uh, to manage that at that point. So there's there's always that that issue that's there with the one year versus two year debate. I think if you look at the return on investment over your lifetime, uh, obviously that's something that uh, more than pays for itself. It it doesn't necessarily pay for itself in terms of the money in the bank kind of perspective, but if it's something that if you want to look at it yourself as if um, you want to grow intellectually, then yes, the MBA is definitely an option for you to look at. Uh, and by intellectual growth, it's not always translated into a couple of zeros at the end of your paycheck. Uh, so if you want to look at look at it with that perspective, then absolutely, the MBA, uh, there's no debate about the ROI. Uh, having said that, uh, we always talk about hard numbers uh, since we're both uh, both a science as well as an art. So um, you you need to, when you do take an MBA, you want to be sure that you don't take up a commitment that you are not able to afford at the end of that period. And I'm talking about debt, essentially. I mean, people who uh, take upon very expensive business school degrees find, find it very difficult to service their debt. Um, so you, you do want to take that into account when you uh, look for how to fund your, uh, your MBA.